Lady hires two workers to clean her house and gets caught up in a mess herself. In the era of seeking comfort, who would like to work hard all day? Putting more emphasis on trivial works like cleaning, no soul would ever want to spend their Sundays on it. Moreover, people tend to shed their money off to hire people for cleaning their houses, but are not ready to do it all on their own. Think what would happen if you hire someone for cleaning and once you get them back, you are left with nothing but regrets. Here is an experience of a lady named Genevieve Snow, who hired two of the cleaners from an agency for cleaning and the service she received was something one would never forget. Genevieve Snow, a young lady of 29 years, is a financial consultant. She lives with her three roommates in East Williamsburg, located in New York. She's a working woman and tries to grab every opportunity that would help her to step on the ladders of success. She is a strong-willed lady and a celebrated figure in the corporate industry. Genevieve, on being asked about getting married, clearly states that she already was a mom of her two kids whom she loved unconditionally. To her, cats were not just pets but an incredible part of her life. She treated them well and loved to spend most of her time playing with them after coming back from her office. On a Sunday afternoon, Genevieve was relaxing and reading a book to kill the time. For her, Sundays are meant to be lazy, hence she was doing nothing productive. In addition to that, she used to imagine unrealistic scenarios, which again helped her to pass her sluggish time. Amidst her thoughts, she suddenly felt a need to clean her house since it had been days when she last cleared all up. She started accumulating her cleaning weapons, for she wanted to win this cleaning battle. Setting up everything, she started with the process. She initiated the battle by cleaning up her table, where she found a box containing a slice of pizza. She clearly remembers that last week she had ordered that pizza and after having that, she forgot to dispose of the box. Genevieve, in a process of getting rid of the box, faced an obstacle that made her lose her patience. She had no clue that a pile of trash was living along. She analyzed how her procrastination is giving back things. On that note, she gave up on cleaning and searched for another source to kill her indolent time. She then reached out for her phone and started having a glaze at the emails she received so far. Though she was not a text person, she used to receive a lot of emails as she held a good reputation in her professional life. While scrolling through emails, she caught an eye by an email that had nothing to do with work. The email she received was not that significant, but relating to her present situation, she found that email to be a lifesaver. Moreover, she fetched a way out to decrease her efforts. The email she received was from a cleaning company, seeing what she thanked her stars. With that, she could see amazing discounts on the way waiting only for her. After having done with the booking process, Genevieve felt relieved as she expects her house to be trash-free and well-maintained in the coming evening. With the very thought of getting a cleaned house, she headed to her bedroom to take a sound sleep. The night brought a ray of hope for Genevieve for she had to deal with cleaning no more. It was a Monday morning and Genevieve was getting late for the office as she waited for her appointed cleaners to arrive there. Her phone was buzzing with the incoming calls from her office, but she decided to see a clean house on that very evening. So, ignoring the calls, she waited for those ladies to come. After a long wait, finally, Genevieve heard something that she desperately wanted to hear. Her doorbell. Wasting no more time in guesses, she opened the door. She let two ladies in. Genevieve already was aware that the ladies were the cleaners from Joanna's cleaning service hence asked no more questions. Genevieve, excited on getting a discount, instantly paid the ladies $185 fee adding more than $60 as a tip. She thought it to be a good deal, therefore, worth the time, she went for a cash payment. Discount is all she thought of which made her forget even her office timings. After the payment process, Genevieve managed to show them the areas which were to be cleaned. She was already late so she thought of taking a leave from her house letting the ladies take over the charge for the day in a desire to get a clean house. She then said goodbye to her cats and left for the office. Shortly after Genevieve left for the office, one of her roommates while searching for the coffee mug caught one of the cleaners slouching on the sofa. It seemed as if the cleaner was having her quality time. She must have been imagining the room to be a beach and sofa to be her beach chair. She was being sunkest in her dreams, 
that was not enough, another cleaner went in the bathroom where another roommate was having a shower. Cleaners were already told not to use the bathroom or go nearby it. The cleaner dared to enter the restricted area, which perplexed the roommate as she never expected that from the cleaners. After having a bad start of the day, both the roommates, while leaving for the office, discussed the behavior of the cleaners. They could smell something fishy and half-heartedly left for the office. Their instincts were not allowing them to leave home just like that, but they left for Genevieve had paid the ladies already. While having lunch break, Genevieve thought of giving a call to her neighbor to confirm whether the cleaners were doing their given work diligently or not. Though she left her house in the hands of the cleaners, somewhere or the other she was unsure if the ladies turned out to be thieves or criminals. The neighbor was watching his favorite show when he received the call from Genevieve and was in no mood to leave the TV show. During an advertisement, he peeped through the window from where the apartment was visible and informed Genevieve that everything was under control and that she needed not to worry. After having a conversation over a phone call with her neighbor, she was being called for a meeting for which she could not be late. She hurried for the conference room along with her laptop. She left her phone on her desk and forgot that she was supposed to take feedback from her neighbor. After enjoying the favorite TV show, the forgetful neighbor started doing his works completely forgetting the responsibilities he was given. Genevieve trusted her neighbor on to stop by her place and give a check, but nothing happened as planned. Instead, the old man was enjoying his alone time. It was only when the old man realized that he has got some really important work to do. That is, to sneak in Genevieve's place, he left his house. The old man, with all his skills, tried to open the door with the spare key, which he took from the security. As he opened the door, he was stupefied watching the scenario. The old man while surveying the house got to see the living room muddled. He called out for the cleaners but was not getting any response. The old man grew more suspicious and began to walk inside. His survey was interrupted by an awful sight. He had no idea what was to be done next, so he called up Genevieve on priority and asked her to come there at once. Genevieve was working when she got the alert call from her neighbor. She immediately left for home. She was astonished by having seen the dilapidated condition of the house. Frowning in anger, she started hunting for the cleaners. To her dismay, she got hold of both the cleaners but not in a way she expected it to be. The second encounter with the cleaners made Genevieve reconsider her decision of leaving her house like that. She saw the first cleaner stretched on the sofa. The cleaner was having a sound sleep and had no clue that Genevieve was home already. Without waking her up, Genevieve started looking for the next cleaner. Genevieve peeped through every room of the house, but she was not able to find the second cleaner. She then sat on a chair and thought what if the other lady killed the cleaner and escaped with all the stuff she got from the house. She was occupied with all sorts of negative thoughts. Her throat was getting all dried up so she went to fetch a glass of water. After she walked through the hallway, she was not able to speak anything as her voice got choked. She saw a pair of legs peeping through the door. She could not make out what was that. Frightened, she tried to cope up and managed to get inside the kitchen. The trash and food were strewn across the floor. The shelves were knocked over and the rack of spice was destroyed. Genevieve's roommates came home after five. Genevieve was still there in the kitchen traumatized when her roommates made her feel a little comfortable. Genevieve asked one of her roommates to instantly dial 911 because she thought that both the cleaners inhaled cleaning supplies and lost their consciousness or were dead. After having dialed for help, the three roomies decided on having a patrol of their house just to check whether things were at the same place or not. Their house was a trash bag as nothing was cleaned. In addition to that, everything was flipped or broken. While patrolling the house, they suddenly remembered that there was a part in the house where most of the glass items were kept. They were, by all means, talking about the vodka shelf. They ran towards the shelf and searched for any flipped table or broken glass or broken vodka bottle. They did not get to see any loss there except for a missing vodka bottle. Genevieve, in search of the lost bottle, got to discover another fact. She succeeded in finding the misplaced bottle which she found emptied. Her senses became proactive after getting the hints. She quickly marched towards the kitchen and flipped the cleaner who was carelessly lying on the floor. On flipping the lady, Genevieve noticed that the lady had passed out. Genevieve along with her roommate discovered that she was the one who drank the whole bottle of vodka after which she had no control over herself ultimately passing out on the kitchen floor. Her pink graphical t-shirt, in which drink to be merry was mentioned, must have encouraged her in doing so. 
While the three roommates were analyzing the situation, the other lady, who was having a peaceful sleep, managed to escape away since the doors were opened. Sadly, Genevieve and her other roommates were not able to remember her face clearly hence they could do nothing about her and concentrated all their attention on the cleaner who was left behind. An ambulance, the police along with the fire truck arrived at her place. Genevieve, with the help of her roommates, managed to lift the lady making her rest on the bed. The ambulance people, after making sure that she was alright handed over the lady to the cops. They could do nothing till the time she gets sober. As soon as her place was cleared, Genevieve sent an email to the agency and explained whatever happened so far. She included the details and attached the pictures as well. Genevieve demanded a refund for all her expenses. Moreover, Genevieve was not in a mood to compensate at all. Genevieve got a revert mail from Joanna, who was managing the cleaning team. She initially apologized and promised to fix things by offering a free cleaning service, but Genevieve refused. Joanna then texted excuses for the employee whom Genevieve found drunk. As the arguments hyped up, Joanna started refusing to refund and criticized Genevieve for clicking pictures of the woman. After being so rude to Joanna, Genevieve got a hint that the operation was nothing but a scam. The identity of the lady named Joanna remained unclear, hence, she thought of searching the company and social media as well to see the reviews. This came up not as a surprise, the company was nearly untraceable. Genevieve tired after searching that company and every possible page decided to leave a negative review on their Yelp page. Her friends also followed the suit in a try to make this seem viral to make other people aware of the scam. Genevieve got to know another side of the story when she went through the comments on the review she posted. While scrolling the comments, Genevieve came across the very name Joanna. A woman who claimed to be Joanna responded in the post and was in support of Genevieve. She blamed another cleaning company which was managed by another woman of the same first name. Joanna Ultasiuska. Genevieve's friends were so angry that they stalked the lady named Joanna Ultasiuska on Facebook. Her friends sent Genevieve a picture of Joanna, which made Genevieve react. OMG, that's pink shirt. The lady on my kitchen floor. This was something Genevieve had never expected. Genevieve and her friends were sure regarding their suspicions, yet they were not able to make out the real identity of Joanna. Genevieve remembered that the agency also had an office. She searched for the location but could not find any locality with that name. Joanna's status on her Facebook recently changed to self-employed, which made Genevieve more anxious. After waiting for a proper one month to get the refund and the free cleaning as decided, Genevieve had no patience left with her and planned to drag the case into small claims court so that she could seek justice. The issue that remained unsolved would probably close, ensuring Genevieve to provide compensation for all her losses. Along with the loss of things, Genevieve lost two of her gems for which she felt woeful. Had it been only things, she would have let the case go, but her precious gems are the reason why she held on to that case and wanted justice. Moreover, Genevieve was more of a humanitarian background but when it comes to justice, she stood firm taking her stand. The two gems were her cats whom she loved the most and even treated them as a part of the family. Because of that drunk lady, the cats escaped the house from the front door. This was the only incident that made Genevieve do that. Genevieve used to wave her cats every day but now that they were gone, her determination to catch the culprit became stronger. The case had gone cold since nobody was getting any clue regarding the woman. The three roommates were shaken to the core after that incident. They failed to get any further success in the case but to make aware others, they planned to take action. They could never imagine other people going through the same trauma, so they called out for a meeting. The roommates invited other neighbors at their place to have a formal session regarding the incident that took place back then. Though things could not be undone, could be prevented before experiencing any further losses, Genevieve hoped for the unity and pledged to honestly fulfill her role as a neighbor. People were then aware of the incident and were encouraging Genevieve to fight back. Amidst that, some people forced Genevieve to set up a GoFundMe page. Genevieve did not consider this idea, instead she encouraged the people to donate for Trevor Project, which is a suicide hotline for LGBTQ plus youth. Genevieve could not experience the taste of a happy ending. The case is still on and justice is to be made. But one thing is for sure, Genevieve learned to invest her money for good causes. Though she had not been refunded or compensated, then also encouraged people to donate for the Trevor Project. In her opinion, humanity is the first and foremost thing. On that note, she promised herself, no matter how many times the situation tried to knock her down, 
she would fight back every single time, doing the best for herself and the community. <laughs> 